Hello, everybody. Uh, Cameron Osborne here, co-host of the Two C's in a Pod podcast. Just want to let you guys know we're taking a bit of a break for the holiday season. You know, Cam is overseas. He's in Czech Republic right now watching the juniors play some hockey. But we still want to get an episode out for you. So here it is. Last week was Cam's 25th birthday. Uh, we thought no, no, no way better to celebrate his 25th by doing a live show. Maybe get some of his friends in here, um, get some of his friends to tell some of their best cam stories. It worked out differently <laughs> than we thought it would. And, and originally we anticipated one, two, maybe three people kind of come in and we edit kind of something together. Instead, it turned into 90 minutes of Cam's best friends in the world ripping on him. Uh, so you're not going to want to miss it. We got stories from uh, we got stories from Alex Park. We got stories from uh, all the folks back at home and Aaron. We got Jeremy Michael, of course. Um, and you do want to listen for the story of Cam and Shannon's first date, which is told by both Cam and Shannon, so you're not going to want to miss that. We'll be back in the new year um, with a new episode, uh, but for now, enjoy Cam's birthday uh, podcast. <laughs> I, I really hope you guys like it. Cam's. Pick up a microphone. Pick up a mic. I guess this is the first, I, don't know, I, I was going to say this is the first live podcast, but I guess everyone's really live. Every, every show is actually live, technically. But I guess we've just never looked each other in the eyes. We've never looked each it. other in the faces before, you know? Yeah, so it's a little romantic. So I, I think the folks at home were actually, are actually pretty excited about this because we've been talking about Cam's birthday party yeah. for weeks now. Weeks now. People live are, on scene. People are waiting to hear what the actual party is like. And folks, I got to say, of course, so this is two season of pod. This is episode five. I'm Cam McClare. I'm Cameron Osborne, and we are live at Cam's 25th birthday party. I didn't know <laughs> until you said, this is my quarter century. I, I didn't know that you were turning 25. I swear, what you know. What do you think it was? I'm I, I, 26, 27. You know, I mean, I just turned 28. I just probably thought Fair you enough, were. Yeah. I just probably thought you were closer to that. Yeah, I guess I'm not. But then again, I don't keep track of the years very well, so never know. You know, just uh, so we're 25. We're here, and there's been a but it's been a good good turnout. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the turnout. Um, I think I've invited a few people who are the the outsiders uh, who wouldn't have known as many people, but they didn't show up. But maybe that's just to be expected. That's a good point. That's a good point. It's tough throwing a party one time. Uh, God, I threw an embarrassing party one time. Have you ever thrown an embarrassing party? No, like, uh, <laughs> like you guys ones. threw a party and either went one way or the other. I remember throwing a party, uh, I threw an embarrassing party one time, and I'm probably like grade ten, maybe grade eleven, right? Okay. And I invite a bunch of guys and a bunch of girls over from a few different friend groups. All the guys bailed. No, only the girls showed up. I kid you not. So I had like three, two or three different friend groups of girls. That was it. Now. It sounds like these girls were not interested in you sexually. No, I think at this time, like, I, I bet, like, one of them would have been my high school girlfriend. So it would have right. been, like, my high school girlfriend, a few of her friends, and then other friends from other classes, and then maybe a third group. And you're kind of thinking, like, great, the guys are going to be the, no. the glue that Bounce brings us together. Ground. No, it was just me and a bunch of women. Weird, weird, which, How'd which you feel feels about weird, that? which feels weird. No, so literally cut to me, uh, like my, my, the, my, the family room at my, my mom's house had like, uh, the television in the middle of the room with a couch on either side. And then I sat on like the footstool in the middle of the room. So there's, there's so how I'm, many I'm women, between, how many women are we talking about? Uh, I'm going to say six total. Six total But like total this women. is grade 10. Yeah, you so, don't know what to deal with Like, yourself. guy girl parties, just kind of, like, we're still getting into drugs. We're still getting, into, like, right. things are still just, a little weird, yeah. Yeah. right? Of course, and this would have been, like, a, probably, like, a sober party, I think, but. Oh, wow. What, what grade is this in? I'm going to say grade 10. Yeah, I mean, I think there might have been, like, someone that's like, well, I brought this bottle of, you yeah, know, yeah, uh, the, swamp water. Yeah, there probably would have been a bottle of a, a Mickey of Fireball, but again, six women, or six girls and me. Like, right. if there were other guys there, maybe some more things would have flown. Right. Uh, flown around. And I just remember this being this, I don't know, I just, I, you know, you ever have one of those things that I just picture, like, asking my parents, like, yo, do you remember that night that I had six girls over? What you, did you think that, like, like yeah, I just they must be like, opinion. you must have thought I was a baller, right? Like, that's your first thought. You're, you're looking at it, you're like, okay, you looked at the situation. 
No dudes come over. I got six chicks. I'm grade 10. I'm slaying. I like to hope that my stepdad was sitting there going like, fuck yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, or like, like, or at least something. My mom would have gone a little, a little bit jealous. Bit. Or a little bit jealous. Maybe, you know? I mean, yeah. uh, I can't think of another time that I was a kid, like young around six. Did you ever get caught um, either like smoking weed or drinking alcohol? Uh... No, I think when I was drinking, my parents knew I was drinking. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got... No, there was one time that... Uh, so, I had a big math test the next day. Yeah. And I remember going to bed early and smoking bongs in my room before going to bed. I right. used to do that so all the, the time. So, parents had no idea that bongs was the <laughs> I thing. used to do that all the time, okay. right? So, I just finished smoking a bong and then I hear a knock on my door. It's my dad. Okay. So, like, oh, Cam, Cam Cameron, are you still up? And I'm panicking, right? Because my room Cause probably... Because you're, rip, you're ripping a bong right I, now. I just ripped it. My room probably still smells. And I'm sitting in bed. And I'm like, oh, oh, one minute, one minute. I'm panicking, yeah. right? Oh, you're doing the one minute thing? You're oh, like, one minute. Oh, I'm just, 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 uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. My, my, my jammies are off. Give me a second. And he's like, oh, no, no, it's okay. Just wanted just to say... Just it off. That's all I'm doing. It's okay. Just wanted to say, uh, you know, good luck on your math test tomorrow. I swear, like to this day, never talking about it. He, I hope he thinks I was jerking off. That's what I imagine. I was grade eleven, you grade twelve, that over knowing that. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I would rather him thinking that I was jerking off in my bed rather than like I was smoking drugs in his house. You know, because I think that's something you would get in trouble with. But. Uh, jerking it's off something that's you'll natural. never know. I, it's something I'll never know. Unless I ask the man. I but could always ask my father, like, like, hey. You could, but it's like, <laughs> is this a conversation you want to have? Like, imagine you're 12 beers deep with the guy, and you're like, I got to have a conversation. He's like, oh, wh- what is it, Cameron? And you're like, okay, hear me out here. Hear me out. I'm grade 10. All right. You might not remember this. I remember this like it was yesterday. You knock on my door. Here's your perspective. You knock on my door. I say one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Please hold on. And I'm obviously very panicked. Oh, what of you, course. What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, well, yeah. what would you and think? You, you just hold the conversation there and see what he says. He's like, well, I was quite... Well, I don't know what you're doing. No, 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 come on. Dude, cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. What do you think I was doing? Oh, you were jerking off. <sighs> okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> there's a few yeah there's a few probably like real conversations that I love to have with my parents one day just that thinking of like yeah, go ahead just that thinking of hey Shane's in the room Shane's in the room Shane is in the room uh, of course yeah this is Cam's party yeah it's a party right? like, we have definitely not, not a uh, this a is definitely not a formal formal show of course you're probably listening to Never Hung Over Again in the background somewhere yeah this is uh, two season I'm actually finished so now we have to do something new should we play oh. something in honor of the podcast I mean, whatever you want, man. I mean, we're... Uh... This is an exciting episode. I think for a lot of the folks at home um, who are listening, possibly like behind the paywall, there's also a lot of behind the paywall info going on here, right? Like, not necessarily the professional atmosphere that we have before. There's yeah. probably going to be a lot of bleed. There is also a third microphone here. I'm just uh, glad DuckDuckGo Duck, Duck, Duck is not... Uh, you know, DuckDuckGo has stayed away from us. Yeah. Uh, I got to say, corporate's been coming down on us lately. Coming hard. Um, there is a third microphone here, just kind of ready to go. Shane, if you ever... Um, yeah, you're welcome okay. to. Or I'm gonna, um, I'm, if, gonna, I'm, gonna my, I'm gonna grab a beer while he does that. And when you and when you grab beer, you know if you if you, if somebody if somebody's got out there, um, maybe drop a message. If someone's got a fun cam story, of course, Cameron, this is your birthday. Yeah. Uh, if someone's got a great story, yeah, fucking get him, and I'll All I'll right. vamp. All right, perfect. Uh, Shane, I'm gonna grab it, give you the mic here. All right, perfect. I'll vamp. Um, folks, of course, this is two season of pod the podcast. Uh, that we're here, we're live at Cam's party. I'm sitting here. Um. Cam's grabbing another drink, and we're live here. Oh, uh, it was with a good buddy Hold Shane. On. This is I'm gonna, looking for my chair right now. This is going to be a great episode because we're going to have so many guests. Uh, pot- well, or potentially, I don't want to for listeners at home. I really don't want to expose this, and I hope I hope everyone enjoys it because we're going to have a lot of guests here. We have Shane sitting here. Hey everybody, how is it going? Uh, Shane, of course, you know another just kind of friend of the podcast. You know he's not a two C in the pod, but uh, <laughs> I guess technically Shane, you are our first guest on the show. Wow, no way! This That's is, very exciting. This is huge. I can't believe this. This is huge news, folks. Sound the alarms. You're technically the first guest. Um, 
no one else, you know, possibly my roommate may have been heard in the background of another episode. If I mean, Die I Hard was only listening. in the background until Cam decided he needed another beer. You know, so Cam's left the room. Uh, it's just here. It's Cam, so it's Cam's birthday. It's twenty fifth birthday. Uh, yeah, I I'd, was thinking about that. What is my what? You were talking about funny stories about Cam. I would love to hear. And if I you was have. really trying to think about a good one, and I think I figured out a good one. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear so, it. So, Cam. If you don't know, is a very big fan of piss bottles. Um, uh, Did you know I, I, about this story? So I'm gonna I'm gonna say um, I haven't heard this explicitly, but I'm gonna say this is like a piss jug trailer park boys type a situation. Bit, yeah. So when he was working, par- he when we was when he was working from home, he was doing a lot of driving to different places that he needed to work like he needed to sell paper and office supplies to different stores yes. across kitchener and like in other areas so he was always in his car and he's like oh i need to go to the washroom i'm just gonna piss in this jug so then he pisses in a water bottle empties it puts the lid back on then puts the dirty water bottle back into his car to then piss in again for like tons and tons of times. Wait, wait, does he is he pouring the piss out of his car window and then uh, like refilling it later? Cuz when I think of like a piss jug, I think of like you Yo, pissing it. Yeah, we're talking it. about the piss bottle story. <laughs> so when I think I have when, no I, idea. when I think of a piss jug, I think of you got to seal it back up Okay, Afterwards. there's been a lot of controversy. This is why I it's, brought it up, because I think it's a very fine. controversial yeah, story. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love this story. All right. I, I've thought about this probably in the last week. Um, not that because I found a piss jug in my car. It's that I've thought about the ethics of it, right? Mm-hmm. And there's two arguments to the story. First of all, urine is very sterile. Well, I mean, it is sterile. There, it, sterile is a binary thing. It's, it is or it isn't, Okay. So urine is sterile. Let's start with that. <laughs> okay, let's let's buy the first premise. Okay, we'll it move on from smell that one. At all. Can we agree? It does smell. Now, <laughs> it does smell. No, I'm not it, so it does smell. I don't disagree with that at all. The fact, the fact of the matter is that it does smell, and it smells if you put it everywhere. Now, if you put it in a very contained area. Hmm. You're not going to have any issues with it. Now, so w- w- would you pour these piss jugs that Shane was talking about? Would you pour them out your window and then keep going? Because yes. I would think yeah. if you're done with it, that's it. That's you, Once you have filled it, okay. that's the end of the... Why? And then you get a new one and you drink the water from the new one yeah. and then you piss in the new one, so, throw the new one off. So I like to think that a gate I like to think that a Gatorade bottle is gonna be the best for this. I think it's the one Gatorade bottle's grim. good. Kombucha bottle is the best, but I've never had the opportunity. Uh, that's definitely that's definitely where my mind goes. I can't believe you would do this for extended periods of time also. I mean it's very good for road trips. <laughs> that's uh that's that's fantastic. You know, you're on the road, you're selling you're selling paper. You gotta put you gotta push those supplies. A <laughs> oh, what? Again, this is a this is a this is a live podcast. This is an open here. show. This, this is an open, open show. show. Anything's going. Yeah. We've had a couple. We have a couple people walk yeah. in the room. Yeah. Um, got Shannon, that's we what got happens when you have here. a live po- live podcast at a party. <laughs> it's episode five, and that's and that's and that's the fun part episode though. Five, also the last episode it's of the decade. Incredibly so well. intoxicated. Yeah, we had a couple friends walk into the room. Um, currently we're doing right now just kind of like just kind of like our 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 best. Cam stories is what we're going over right now. Uh, anything that kind of jumps to mind? I mean, this is the 25th um, birthday. This sort of celebration, comes. celebration of life. Yeah, Made it. Else to camp, 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 camp. What's up? We have cheers in like five minutes. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's not officially my birthday yet. So... Of the torch, mine was the yeah, it's Gabe's birthday today, so we're about. <sighs> Four minutes this off is a from double. His. We were on actually on a double birthday night. Oh, yeah, double oh Jesus birthday. Christ! Double birthday on the podcast. A D- little bit of a double. I miss that. Here. We're five days away for five minutes away. Oh Jesus Christ! What's from your, uh, from your expert yeah, really My phone background is the uh, the is moment. That Kyle Lowry? Yeah, so it's the moment that Kyle Lowry realized he's going to the finals. I think we were up on Milwaukee, probably like oh. eight seconds to go, up by like six or seven oh, points. Man. It was like a great moment, and just like that's the smile. Of I someone see. who's worked their entire life. Same yeah, exa- see yeah, exactly. Um, it's like the couple, best. Oh uh, my god, that's such a, a couple real Raptors fans in the so, room. 
man. Yeah, no, it's a fun moment. Like a point guard who worked his entire life to get to get to that moment. He and brought the realized, Raptors there. That didn't was realize all... he was about to win. Realized he was just gonna make it. Right. Just gonna make it there. Right. I'm gonna defy all odds and make it there. Of course, um, you know NBA championships, dog. Yeah, I still have the newspapers at my office in a um, in a sack that I don't know what to do with. What should. newspapers? Hey, I have the two newspapers the day you after. Man, my mom my mom framed those. You so framed so them, the morning after they won, and then the morning after the parade, she took both those, went to oh, her frame right. guy. Mom's got a frame guy. And she just uh, put these things up as great pieces of artwork in my room. We're podcasting live. And more, Park has just more entered guests. the room. Oh my God, so many I feel guests. like Park has so something to say yeah. for the podcast we, we're, as we're, a guest. We're, 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 we're really blowing our uh, blowing guest. Yeah. Do you want to be a guest on the podcast? On the, uh, Jeez, uh, the features are going to be incredible. Oh, and the features, the, the episode title won't be, it won't, oh, won't even be able to be long enough. Alex Park, friends of the podcast. Alex Park in the room. Michael Miffs and Sweeney join the podcast. Of course, Michael Miffs Okay, I already talked about the piss story. So, folks, we're here on the microphone right now. We're sitting here with Alex Park, friend of the show. Um, Alex, no, um, so I think you. Have I think. To come I think. On I think, I think Mike like, has. Mike. I told Mike about this maybe five episode, five minutes ago, so he might. He, I think he has a good story. Hey. That's fantastic. Okay, so uh, just let the folks. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of voices. Folks probably hearing right it's now. Gone. Um, there's no we, monitors either. There's no monitors either. Uh, don't worry, yeah. I'm keeping an eye on the clipping. It's probably better that way. Making sure we're not clipping. Okay, so cool. So that's all good. Okay. Um, uh, so, of course, uh, so this is Cam's birthday. It is. Happy birthday, Cam. Well, Thank we're, you. We're, we're, Thank we're you. 25 yeah. years century, in. baby. Um, yeah, made it. <laughs> now, Shane yeah, gave us a good Cam story. Okay. You've known Cam for a long time. I have. Uh, I knew Cam... I met Cam probably in grade nine. He was a lot shorter and like liked BMX bikes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then he uh, and then he forced me to be friends with him. He loved riding and on those like back He's like one of the pegs. best friends. He did. And now he's one. And now, and now he's one of your best friends. He is. Yeah. Um, he is the most driven person I've ever met. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow, that's uh, very much. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I, I was pictured don't, more of a roast don't, element. Don't tell him I said this, that. Don't tell him I said that. I mean, well, I'm about to tell two stories about him, so it's. I'd like, lo- I'd love to hear at least one of them. Um. Okay. I think, like, the first thing is that Cam is the only person who I've ever met who can who can pee while walking. <laughs> pee while walking. Pee while um, walking, yeah. So back when we were in high school, Cam lives in the middle of nowhere. And our small town, the only thing that was open was Tim Hortons. Uh, and so we used to, like, make the like three or four K walk in the complete darkness down like his dirt road. Now I'd like to point out here that when he says complete darkness this is a dirt road with absolutely no lights. This is one this yeah. wasn't a light every kilometer. This was no lights at all. Yeah. This was complete darkness in a city that didn't not, have light pollution. That's true. <laughs> also, not a city like yeah. like a bunch of houses. Yeah. It's a few houses sporadically <laughs> this is, this is in an area where if you and, if, if uh, you're walking through it and you don't see someone you know, you're going. This is bizarre. This is a slow damn down yeah, today. Yeah. So, so we're making this 3K walk to Tim Hortons because uh, what I mean, the fuck else are you gonna do? Yeah, what the, I guess yeah, what yeah, else yeah, are we yeah, gonna yeah, do? You, you basically like we'd get drunk and then be like, well, what do you want to do? Well, we want to eat, and then it's like Tim Hortons was the only option because like we can't Uber. Eats anything there? We can't order pizza there. I think this would have yeah. been before that. That even would have exactly. existed. Now I would point out here. Sometimes we would call Domino's and play a little <laughs> a game with them because we knew that they would deliver up the streets. So you'd order them and say, "Hey, we live at this address." They'd be, they'd get there and you go like. Oh yeah, by the way, it's like a little bit further. It's like I oh, got the wrong address. And like, you know, there's ways to circumvent the system is what I'm sure you have long driveways up there too, so yeah. true. these pizza drivers don't want to go all the way up the driveway. That's true. And what's the gate code? All these sorts yeah. of things. <laughs> the fire number. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So back so back to the back to the uh the, the pee walking. Yeah, I mean I think it was like a common occurrence that like Cam would kinda of fall behind a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you'd turn around, and he'd just be pee-walking. But also, like, not spilling on himself. Like, like it so was... is he walking back? You, you have to think you have, you have to walk backwards. No, 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 no. So that's the thing. Incorrect. That's, like, the impressive he's part. He's walking is forward. He's walking forward. But it's also, like, propelled so fast that it's so far in front of him that he can actually just walk. Huh. So I know. It is like, you're, it's like the, the, your stream, your jet stream has such vigor that... 
like it's able like no 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 splashes. Exactly. Nothing happening. I've developed a skill where. Um, <laughs> yeah, tell us what you have to say, <laughs> yeah. please. I'm surprised it's, that uh, we waited this long to yeah. talk about this I've skill. Built, I've built quite a potent skill here, hmm. where I believe that I it is impossible for me to get a pissing in public ticket because I am never stationary. Oh, uh, sure, I guess you keep, the yeah. more you keep moving, it's like a movement. No one they, ever they looks at someone that's walking. They can't get you. No one ever looks at someone that's walking. <laughs> so if you are urinating while walking, no one blinks an eye. <laughs> That's I mean, true. if you're walking past someone, someone will definitely blink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I think if it's daytime and you're going past a public park, someone's going to catch that. That's true. I'll change from my birthday to yours. Oh, congratulations. Well, uh, congratulations to me. All right. Cheers. Oh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, we Can we cross uh, the midnight uh, hour, of woo. course? Okay. Cam's cheers, official cheers, birthday. Cheers, What's cheers, all, cheers. all about cheers yeah. in the room? Cheers, We're all going to cheers to this. My birthday is cheers. fantastic. I have a good story, too. 25. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're going to line them up. Yeah, anyone out there who wants to give a Cam story, of course, this is a... Uh, feel free to give a, you know, a roll call, as um, it were. Um, so, anyway, yeah. So... What I've been able to accomplish, uh, this is, you know, I'm not going to say it's my proudest feat, but it's up there for sure. I mean, it's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. Like, yeah. let's be real I have, here. Put it this way. I, I seen, wish I could do I that. I haven't seen anyone able to do this. <laughs> Basically, I can urinate while not urinating on my shoes at all mm. and continuing. I, I, I find the best strategy for myself mm-hmm. is grabbing my phone and pretending to talk to someone while urinating down an alleyway. Oh, Who's ever gonna question that? It's true. That's true. You don't like. You don't blink an eye. You look at that. And you go like. She's talking to somebody. He, right. That's true. Yeah. You mm-hmm. say, "Hey, my 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 eyes are up here." The thing is, wait, that I, wait, wait. So are you not talking? You're talking the to yourself. The thing is, I actually do you talk. Doing? Oh. Yeah, and I, I picture, have fake conversation. I oh. picture you yeah. making up a conversation, <laughs> a being like, ruse. "Oh, the documents are due on Thursday." Mm. I don't. That, no, of, that will not suffice. <laughs> I picture so you good. having like like an argument in silly. which you are yeah. winning. Yeah. They're pretty mm. silly. Because like, no, 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 no. It, it's next Tuesday. No, no. Well, do you think you can make bill today? That's a good point. You know, if I'm, it's you know, quite easy on a smaller degree. If I'm at work and I don't want people to. Talk to me. Yeah, I will. I um. I do. I, I count on my fingers. I think I oh, if, if, if I'm if I'm walking around at work, especially if I'm walking with a quick pace. If I'm going like, yeah. nobody will talk to you if they think you're actually kind of doing stuff. It's like walking with a clipboard or something. See, it's, that's like it's, it's a little yeah. point off. It's a little as well. authority. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quick office trick is if you want to never be talked to, carry pieces of paper in your hands and look at them and just be look frustrated. Mm. Yeah, maybe have some of them like askew from the other pages. Oh, so yeah. it looks like, matter. So it looks like yeah. you haphazardly threw them together. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got all these papers. <laughs> yeah, I got the big Jenkins account. Regardless, if you're looking at something and you look angry, no one's ever going to talk to you. That's true. I definitely yeah. remember like walking around the office and like putting on an angry face so no one talked to me yeah you're like fuck yeah. everybody here yeah so look if you're happy and welcoming all the time everyone's gonna want to yeah. say hello no, that's a huge well, how, stop your, how your cat's yeah. doing as a happy and welcoming person it's so terrible in a workplace <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's not so, you it's can't such operate being so positive all yeah, the time it does. and such a and such a happy influence over the workplace yeah it's not a good not a good move yeah i mean there's definitely people at my workplace who look angry all the time like mm. I don't know if you're mad at me or the world but I'll tell you what I'm not gonna talk to you and they're probably like I'm killing it <laughs> <laughs> this is great this is what I've they're always like, wanted my ruse is working so well <laughs> they were they walk in they're like the you know they're probably playing like the most happy music like you know and then they're playing the most pump up like you know touch the sky by Kanye West like Gotta testify. <laughs> They're literally then, just listening to Pumped Up Kicks, Pumped Up Kicks, and uh, they, Happy by Pharrell they, on they, repeat. They, as soon as the the click turns off, it's <clears throat> sad face, and they're like, mm. "Well, looks like I'm this for nine hours." Because mm. yeah, lunch doesn't count as an hour of work, people. Yeah, you don't get paid for that. No, yeah, I don't. Pff, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna yeah, pay I think, for that. I think Come on. My first job, I thought I did, and then they were like struck my pay. And, and, then, they just, of, and then, then, then they just got rid of it. You realize yeah. you're working eight hour days. We're, we're pot, pot, live podcast. Do, do you have Do you have a cam story you want to tell? Live? Yeah, you Which want. One? I guess it's five. Which one? Yeah. That's a, that's a that's a dangerous. That's, that's true. Cam story. Whatever you got. Yeah. 
The one you got fired? <sighs> oh, that was a wild oh, one, yeah. That's a photo. That's it. That's a uh, that's a dangerous story. Well, yeah. Here, hiya. Hop, hop the mic yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. All you. Let's get um. Uh, let's get yeah. Let's let's, let's get another cam seat. story. So we've we've gotten some, a couple good ones so far. You know about urine and stuff like that. So for, uh, first, of course, yeah. Introduce yourself to the show. Introduce yourself right, to me. So you and I have not. I'm even. Tyler. What's your name? Cam- I'm Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. You're <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> nice Cameron. So Cam and Cameron. We're the host of the podcast. Two seasons in a pod here. <laughs> it's nice. It's yeah. nice to meet you. You know. So we're here. Uh, this is our episode five, right? So it's Cam's. Uh, it's Cam's twenty fifth birthday today, and we're hoping to get some great the big Cam- quarter century. The yeah, co- made it. The yeah. old QC. Never We're made, hoping to get some, uh, it, yeah. some good cam stories. Some good cam stories. If you've got one, if there's one in particular that really like hops out, um, yeah, we'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear it. The All listeners right. would love to hear it. I'll for try sure. to shoot. I'll try to shoot it. So I'll try to keep it brief as Quick well. Shoot. Quick shoot. <laughs> no, it's not a work. So shoot. Shoot. Shoot it. Like you know, like you're putting just putting it out there, mm-hmm. right? And he, so like. Like Cam's always like he's always worked hard, right? Like he's he's a hardworking guy. <laughs> well, he's a little bitch boy, but <laughs> some say a piss boy, but <laughs> some, some, some would say, say a piss, a piss boy. boy. Yeah, he's a come piss yeah. <laughs> like, boy. So the kid, like he he started getting what? What was it? Jiu-jitsu or Muay Thai that you're getting into jiu-jitsu, at the time? Yeah, it was jiu-jitsu, so it was jiu-jitsu at the time. So he gets injured doing jiu-jitsu, like whatever. Um, Tear my meniscus. <laughs> Tore his meniscus. And anyway, so he, uh, me and my roommate, like, were, were like personal trainers or like into the human body, stuff like that. And he's having issues and he's like, yeah. <laughs> Another guest in the room here, we have Jamie Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, old Jamie Hamilton. So he's, uh, he's, he's trying to figure out what's going on with him and, uh, he can't figure it out. So he sends a video of him. And his boxers, uh, like flexing his knee. He's just like he's moving his knee up and down. He's like, he's like, anything wrong with this? Like, can you guys see anything? We're like, I don't know. Like, your hamstring like doesn't look right, but like something's going on for sure. Like in your knee, like it's definitely swollen. And so it's definitely very large. It yeah, does not it's, look good it's at not all. good. Yeah. Like that's something's going it's on. Like, like definitely not a normal knee. Put yeah, it that way. Like we're not doctors yet. I, I like, like the point out here. I've gone to like four doctors at this point. And they're like, I don't know. Like yeah. you can go do this. Just. They're like, do you want to do um, rehab with my program? You're like, can you just tell me what's wrong with this yeah. thing? Like, for fuck's sake. No, no, one, no one's giving the kid a diagnosis. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, he's just trying to figure it out. Like, that's the way he works. Like, he needs to know, like, that way he'll get better, right? Yeah. So uh, I guess at, this is the first job out of undergrad. And it, it, it's a sick gig. Like, it sounds like he was doing well at it, like kicking ass. And But it was in the summer, and... Uh, his boss's daughter was in the office uh, helping out I guess and Cam for whatever reason decides to like send the video and show the video I'm of not gonna say I never <laughs> sent the video <laughs> I I I, I. <laughs> So I he, never the, video the video was shown. In the end, he was sexting the video his was boss's asked daughter. For. The video was asked for. <laughs> also, as, we're, as we are recording this right now, Cam's fly is undone. <laughs> Cam, Cam's fly is way low. Cam, Cam has a history. history. That, that describes his personality. So in the end. <laughs> so in the end, uh, his, his boss's daughter showed... Obviously, it, her father, the video of Cam and his boxers, or, or describe the video or whatever. And Regardless. Definitely it, not shown it, because it was not sent. Yeah, but like by Friday, out. Cam was no longer working at this <laughs> at a specific spot. And yeah, that's... Uh, Man, that's, that now, one's tough. That I, would like, tough. So, I would like to point out a few things about this. Please. She was a... Uh, was she a trained physiotherapist or she was trained she, to be a she, physiotherapist? Dude, she was like she was like going into undergrad. She was like seventeen years old. She was like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like, okay. She was like she was like, I'm going into my kinesiology program. No, no, no. Wait, she, she was like balls. she was like one or two years into school. Like she, she was more she, interested she, interested in anatomy. She was interested in anatomy. Oh shit. Yeah. 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 She, she wasn't interested in your anatomy. Um did ask to see. Did ask to see the video. So there was consent. Okay. There was I'll consent. Give you, give you Perfect. And also like to point out that. Well, you know what? We'll leave the uh, confidence to the side. But yeah, regardless, I still think it was 
garbage. <laughs> it was bullshit, yeah. Bullshit Sucked. firing. Yeah. I, I just don't get the, I don't get the, I don't get the showing. Salty, like, why would you want to, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I know. like, that, like, that's what it is. Like, if it, like, I, I can't picture having an injury and then showing someone the injury. Because they but, but besides if they're in the means. They like, they like, they this was consuming this guy's mind. Like, like he was obsessed with it for like months, probably, and like that, like that's the way. Like you had just, like you read it right off the past. Like Cam is the hardest working person you know. If there's a problem yeah. in Cam's life, it's like how do we fix yeah, it, it right it, now? It's like how it, is the solution? It's the orange. Evidence? It's the orange, and it's like how do I oh, address this issue? Orange. I need to address this issue. This is the biggest thing in my life. And right like, now. how do we fix this? Hey, you're going into kin. What does this look like to you? Yeah. Like that's <laughs> like that, that. That's the thought plan because it's like how do we fix this problem immediately? Anatomy yeah. is anatomy, and a knee is a knee. <laughs> <laughs> that's all there is to it. Pain science is no different. Like, cam but there's cam. an issue. You so I'm gonna say, like, did you learn anything from this? <laughs> <laughs> no. The thing I learned from Let's this is home, never cam. speak to women at work ever. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> never, never. <laughs> never. I, one, how do you yeah. do? Is, that's is it. enough. I <laughs> avoid <laughs> everything from there on. After that, it is like, it like. If there's a dirty joke. I'm like, I'm gonna leave. That being said, yeah. there there is a lot of like, there is a lot of room between like hello and here is a photo of me, <laughs> uh, like bottom down yeah. flexing. <laughs> Good old bottom down. <laughs> mistakes are made. Okay, mistakes are made. Excuse me. Uh, hey, hey, uh, Cam, who's going to tell the hernia story? Oh fuck. Um, <laughs> Do you want to jump into the hernia story? Yeah. <laughs> is this is this long winded? With a funny ending? I'd love to hear it from somebody. Have you never heard this story? I can't tell it well enough. I, I definitely cannot. What's his name? Jeremy? Yeah, Jeremy did a good yeah. job. All right, I'm going to have a, go have a beer, and I'll hear it on the podcast later. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, James, 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 hey, hey, can, 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 can you call Jeremy in here? I'll, I'll, I'll hear it in two weeks. Tell Jeremy he needs to come tell You'll hear it when it drops uh, eventually, folks. Um, we're still going with camp yeah, stories, though. Yeah, of course, people are always coming yeah. in and out of this room. You time? never know. You never know who's coming in next. So oh, we're sitting 30 at minutes thirty minutes okay, right yeah. now. Uh, new friend just new, just hopped in the room for Cam's twenty fifth birthday. Well, that's a roast we have going on. New here. friend. <laughs> I barely know the guy. We are very new friends. Uh, we friends is together, friends yeah, is sure. kind of jumping the gun. We are acquaintances. <laughs> Perfect uh, for the folks at home. Just a quick introduction. Who are you? Um, h- how long have you known Cam for? My name is Jeremy Woodellis. I have known Cam since. I was in probably kindergarten. It was kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah. Shit. My yeah. first memory with Cam is I think grade two. We had a uh, science project where I think we needed to make like a uh, terrarium or something, and my mom insisted that we do it on salamanders. So we went hunting for salamanders down around a, a valley. <laughs> Uh, close by where I lived, and I think we found two or three. Now, we'll I'd like a- to point out that if it was three, I found two of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's an important detail. Yeah. It's, li- it's likely uh, true. Cam, a uh, bit of an eagle eye. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was tremendous. I don't know what grade we got, but we definitely put more effort in than anyone else. All Killed at it. the insistence of my mom. Like just the two of you. Like no, I don't none remember of, this at no, all. No, no, <laughs> none of your parents. Like, your, or was it like your mom really put in all the effort? And uh, no, no, she insisted that we put the effort in. She perfect. put more effort into us putting effort in. Okay, that's great. That's great. So it wasn't like one of those. I'm sure. Do you remember? Like there was always that one kid in grade seven who their mom clearly did that project. Oh, it's garbage. And yeah. uh, we, we were all just supposed to pretend she didn't. Yeah, their handwriting was way cleaner. I'm looking than at you, Brittany else's. Stern. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I said it. That's coming in hot. That's coming in as a hot angle. It was. Uh, it was not me. I promise you that my handwriting was illegible. <laughs> of course. But there absolutely were live salamanders there. Mm-hmm. Um, See, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, you were there. But I, 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 I don't think you. I don't too. think you. I don't think you put that much effort in. Bullshit. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was an excuse for like a mother son outing, and you were just there. Sure, great. Okay. Come well, to think of it, may have been Brennan DeLangley. <laughs> <laughs> Might have not been me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Think you think you better than it. it may not have been. <laughs> <That's a> great <laughs> story. <laughs> what, what what are you trying to get out of here? 
<laughs> there was definitely some like French speaking colleague. Yeah. Colleague? Me and Jeremy vaguely speak French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Ah, uh, je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que vous parlez about. Je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que vous parlez about. Je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que vous parlez about. I'm going to uh, like, uh, sorry, Switzerland in like, what, six days? Oui, uh, il parle français en Switzerland. C'est pas parfait. C'est pas parfait, mais tu dois apprendre un peu de pratique, le Duolingo. Le Duolingo. <laughs> um, uh, I have a better uh, Quebecois accent than I have speaking French. Like you have a be- you have a better English like Quebecois Englishman. Exactly what I says right there is exactly what you just say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of that sense. Yeah, it's it's that's also known as it's not exactly not being what you... able to actually speak French. Yeah, <laughs> it's that perfect in the middle. Yeah, it's like yeah. Let me just like go to France and pretend. no, no, no. France is a uh, has actual culture to it. Quebec is garbage. <laughs> That's Ke- a good point. Yeah, Quebec is a fake like you Quebec actual yeah. garbage. Exactly, just pure horseshit. Okay, can yeah. we actually talk about my favorite cam right, story? Let's hear, let's hear of course. Experience. Well, yeah. well, the first one I think was a cam story that we realized was not actually. It was that was my first cam story. It was story, Brandon which, Leclary or whoever. Yeah. whoever that uh, was. Brandon Leclary, close friend of uh, Cameron Leclary. <laughs> <laughs> In a pot, everybody. <laughs> well, we love, yeah, in case yeah. somehow you're tuning in 80 minutes into it. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this one's gonna make the cut. I've already told this story once tonight. I don't, I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna want to hear it, but I have <laughs> to tell you, this is the story of Cam's large testicle. <laughs> Ooh, oh. the big nut. Specifically, the this big is big nut. Specifically, this is the story of the time I first saw. Oh, Cam's shit. big nut. Um, I was in San Francisco at the time. I was staying on uh, Mike's couch. I don't know if Mike has been introduced as a character in this podcast. Of course, yeah. No, we yeah we we got a story. We got a story from Mike. I hope it wasn't also this story. No, 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 no. good no, to know. Story. All right. Well, so I was staying on uh, Mike's couch at the time. We were in a group. We were Facebook video chatting. Um, and Cam tells us hey guys so there's this uh, thing that's been going on in my life I need uh, I want to tell you all Um, there's four of us in this video chat and Mike is on a bus home from work with a bunch of colleagues listening in on headphones uh, but is not the video vid- on I uh, his video was not on because I think he knew it had I to do with your testicle <laughs> It was in my pocket because I was like, I don't want to look at this. <laughs> so Cam tells us the story about how uh, he finds out that he has a big nut, that he's lived with his, his whole life, uh, somehow didn't know it was big. Um, Mike is in the midst of tell- of uh, listening to the story, like text chatting into this group saying, oh my God, I hope you're okay. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Spoiler alert. Um, anyways. We find out Cam has Made a past twenty five baby. It's twelve fifteen. <laughs> Cam is Cam is into his twenty fifth year. He can die happy with his big nut now. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, Cam is telling us the story. We are all listening intently. We get to the end of it. I don't want. I don't know if anybody knows this story, but he has a, a hernia or a cyst or some excess fluid hanging out in there. Well, I mean, the story is that I had no idea what the fuck it was, right? Originally, I went to the doctor and I went, "Hey, I think something's a little bit wrong with this," and they looked at me like, "Yeah." Something's very wrong with this. <laughs> I'm like, but isn't one testicle supposed to be bigger than the other? Like, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, an orange is supposed to be smaller than a, a, a grapefruit, but yours is a watermelon, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're like, oh, shit, okay, I didn't know it was that. Uh, so, they're like, we need to get you an MRI ASAP. And uh, the end result is there is a large water cyst, or I don't know, some kind of fluid cyst. And a hernia. It's a watermelon juice, sis. It's a little bit of watermelon juice in there. And um, a hernia. And the hernia's not too bad. And they've said, like, do you want to, like, you don't need surgery. You know, are you okay with this, having a large nut? <laughs> and, you know, they're like, do you want to have unnecessary surgery? <laughs> 
I work in medical field now. I'm good. So like, it, yeah, I'm good. I don't want but, unnecessary. But surgery. is this before or after you showed the video of your knee? to the boss's daughter because I'm seeing a pattern. <laughs> this is I'm a seeing a pattern here. This is of, this is after. This is post. So you learned your lesson from Incorrect. showing before before. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This might have been before, so you hadn't quite you hadn't quite learned your lesson yet. You know what? Uh, when when the cams when cams nut came to be, like of course I I, I heard about it. I was I right there. I would like there. to point out that the first thing the first thing that. Two people said was, if you die from this, I want your big nut as a piece of treasure. <laughs> as a piece of treasure, right? One of those people was the, the Cam. Bi- the, bi- the, big <laughs> nut, the big nut and the, and, and the Miata, or the Mazda, were the only, were the only yeah, two yeah. things that were going at it that point. Piece of sh- yeah, my piece of shit Mazda But see, MX no, no, but, that, yeah. but and I think what the glaring part of that story, I remember what happening, was the realization of, like, anytime, if you, like, let's say you didn't have a partner and you, kept, you hooked up with someone or whatever it was, that person's never going to tell you, like, Hey, hey, you, you have, a, have a weird nut, nut or yeah. hey, like your something something is a slightly different size than it should be. No one's going to tell you that. So you could in theory go 23, 24 years without ever kind of figuring now, out that without oh, ever shit. having a caring sexual partner is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Without ever having now, I I will say there were friends that told me like, "Don't you watch porn?" And I'm like, I don't know about you, but I'm not watching the dude's nuts. Like, <laughs> out, of, out of all the things that I'm watching yeah. in porn, the nuts are never one of are the there things. Nuts? Yeah. There, yeah. you're watching. You're watching nut adjacent. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, picking up where I left off, there's um, this is the moment of the big reveal. So um, we're all sitting there. We've heard the story, which Cam, has, which so Cam has filled us in do, on. You is fully unbiased. Great. All right. Well, I was going to do it anyways. <laughs> um, so we get to a point in the evening, afternoon. This is probably 6 p.m. Um, Mike is still on his bus ride home. Uh, and we get to the point where Cam has told us everything about his story. Everything about the big nut, the fact that he was uh, had identified it, the fact that he had got it diagnosed, the fact that there was a big fear in, for the two weeks where he may have had ball cancer. It's a big, eventually, it's a big fear. <laughs> eventually, what's the one question on your mind? How big is it? <laughs> How big, How is, big it? is it? The answer is about the size of a tennis ball. Like, it was pretty big. Well, so you say his ball is about the size of a tennis ball. No. And <laughs> you don't really believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? I've, no. s- I've seen the big nut, and... Uh, it's unrivaled by any other nut. There's no <laughs> nut that big. It's the biggest nut. Possibly the biggest nut. So to any of the listeners out there thinking, it can't be that big. I agree that it is that it is hard. It's hard to quantify without seeing. And so that's why on this Facebook video chat, we insisted that we see Cam's big nut. <laughs> We've all seen it. We've all so, we all wanted to see it. We all it, wanted to see it. And here comes the moment of the big reveal. Cam is sitting at his uh, dining room table, telling us about this big nut. He then says, "Okay, I'll show you." Next up, he takes a big hit of his vape. This is not like a weed vape. This is not like a jewel. This is one of those like you hit it and then you chase some clouds. There's some clouds coming and out Cam of here. Cam is a yeah. cloud chaser at this point in his life. <laughs> he hits this thing hard. He stands up. He opens up the kimono that he was wearing for the entirety of this conversation. And out comes a full, like, orangish tennis ball. And it... the. 
the beautiful thing that I really have a hard time, like, uh, podcast listeners will not fully understand, but it's like a horror movie. It's like Alien, where it just, like, emerges <laughs> it just pops through. Out. It emerges through a cloud of vapor. <laughs> it emerges he, he through. The setup. It emerges set it through like a watermelon flavored <laughs> vapor, and all you see is this immense, veiny ball. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I've been as shocked as anything else in my life. And um, I think that might be about it for me. That is. My favorite cam story. The big nut. The big nut. And that, and which is funny because that's recent. Like, I, you know. I've known the guy for decades two, now. Yeah, decades. Decades now. And, you know, and even I was even I was in Cam's life when that big nut happened, right? And you see it beside an, uh, uh, the other nut, and you're thinking, shit. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just say, can I just say, that before this moment, I hadn't seen his full package, but I'd seen him in tight underwear and I was getting pretty jealous <laughs> then I realized it was all just ball it was, it's all ball he's all ball it's no all ball, ball. <laughs> That's there's nothing to be jealous about no one talks about how the other nut feels yeah you know this inadequate nut yeah. you know how this side. other ball feels it feels healthy <laughs> and it feels <laughs> unweighted it feels um, freed Technically from the weight of this world's pressure. Like a more fit nut? Now, is Absolutely. It, I was about yeah. to say, I was about to say, I think the smaller nut needs to work up mm. to get to the place where the bigger nut is. You know how this ball feels? This ball feels like when I mean, a really fat girl yeah. talks about how big her boobs are. Yes. And then the skinny, like, hot girl is like, sure, yeah, you have that, but, but you're not hot. I get it. You're also, like, gonna oh, die at 60. And I'm gonna marry a rich guy. That's how the small ball feels. That's how Cam's. That's how Cam's small nut feels. I mean, I think the question like becomes like, when are nuts too big? Oh, I'm jumping on. You know, never. That's the fucking answer to that question. Never. <laughs> yeah, back on the podcast, baby. Just cleaned up some puke from my party. Oh, yeah. Oh, who was yeah. it? You do who it? was it? Spill the beans. I'm not spilling any beans. Who was it? <laughs> All right, it was Shane. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> Jeez. man. Yeah, whatever. We cleaned it up. It's good. Uh, he's not feeling great. Did he not? What, couldn't he clean it up like okay. an adult? He, oh, Absolutely cares. not. Yeah. If you're puking at a party, you are a yeah. true. not an adult. You don't want yeah, to not, puke Okay, at a party. Mike, let me ask you a question. Cleaning When's up. the last time you puked at a party? I have never puked at a party. Yeah, so you don't know when the fuck it's like to I puke only, at a party. I actually only puke when I, when I take gummies. Mike also doesn't burp. Yo, that's true. Yeah. He burped for the first time, I think, today. Yeah, it was really weird. I actually didn't catch it, and Jeremy's like, you just burped. Yeah, it was a little, it was burp. a little baby burp. But it also made me question the validity oh. of the fact that he says he doesn't yeah, burp. Because also, bullshit. maybe you just don't notice. Uh, no, I don't think so, because like, I'm not used to that feeling. But you didn't notice that feeling. Yeah, because it was like a little baby burp. It was, like, I, it, I, it was almost A little baby burp is the biggest burp you've ever had. It was had. Like almost a hiccup. Like, and I'm kind of like, guys, it's weird that he take, blends take the two. Take this off the podcast, guys. This, this is, is not worth, this is not making me talk about. This is not what we're looking for. Listeners do not want to hear about What are you talking about? You know what I want to, you know what I want to know? I want to know what are cams. What are cams? Top five albums of the decade. Top five albums of the decade. You ask these questions expecting me to be like, oh. Yeah, you, Cam, do you have these loaded? Cam, what is your. What I want to hear, personally. Is why the fuck are you fucking three putting microphones in my face? <laughs> Any answer to that, Cam? Cam, what's your response? Cameron? Uh, we're really losing the uh, integrity of the hey, podcast hey, here. Yeah, Cam we need the we need the other Cam in here. He's really yeah, the yeah, backbone really, of this thing. Kind of, kind of he, the heart and soul. He kind of keeps the trains running. He's the heart and soul, and this Cam's just. I had a nut. good fluid story going while Cam, uh, yeah. other Cam was here, and then uh, he left, and all shit has broken loose. That's true. This welcome to the welcome to the J and M podcast. <laughs> Podcast where back. I talk shit about All right, people that I'm friends with. We're just gonna bring it back on uh, two season a pod here. Um, has, I, Shannon, has Shannon been on? Yeah, she's not. What? Do you want to tell a story about? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Shannon, what's your favorite Shannon, cam story of the decade? Of the Shan- Shannon, can you tell us? Can you tell us how, when you, you met Cam? What were your thoughts about Cam? Ooh, wow. I think that's like that's Shannon, what the people want to know. Tell us your first date with Cam. 
Uh, I don't know. Cam. Uh, Sorry. Here we go. So, okay, how did you guys meet? I think it was a friend set you guys up. Yeah. A friend set us up, yeah. Exchange our phone numbers. We Exchange our phone numbers. Texted yeah. Texted for a bit. I showed well, what, did you, what did you text? What are you like, hey? I was like, hey, did you catch the latest UFC event? It was sick. <laughs> no. Hey, you it like was... big balls, babe? Because I got one. <laughs> it was How many big balls do you like in your mouth? One sore. I'm so Jeremy. sorry. Yeah. I'm so Jeremy. sorry. That was so inappropriate. <laughs> I think it was after I finished a half marathon and we were oh my talking gosh. about that. So, um, no, we were chatting for a bit. And then when I met Cam, he came outside with an umbrella when it was raining and it was really sweet. Uh, and he cooked for me and we chatted for a bit. Cook? What did he cook? Obviously some Chinese food. Um, yeah, chicken fried rice. What? <laughs> Bullshit. I didn't cook chicken fried rice. I cooked sesame chicken. It's like the same. Wow, sesame chicken fried rice. Uh, <laughs> yes. Perfect. So special. Was he wearing um, his uh, special outfit from Hong Kong fashion? <laughs> I think you know, no, oh that no. night. I think that night he made me try it on, and we showed. Um, we sent a picture to our mutual friend who set us up, of like me and his robe, and he was like, "This is a girl I'm gonna date." And what? <laughs> yeah. And it was just funny. That's adorable. This yeah. is beautiful. So mm-hmm. adorable. I also enjoy how smiley you are at the moment. Like you're telling the story yeah. and you're thinking about one, how goofy it was, but also it was cute. I just think reflecting to how such a, like a nice moment it was. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, it was uh, a it was a beautiful moment and I can tell. We we're just watching by looking, genuine happiness. That's what we're, 100%. Listeners at yeah. home, you can't see how Our happy Shannon is right now. It's just full of ridiculousness. So. Hilarious also because they're on polar opposite ends of the couch. Like yeah, that's true. Yeah. I am. I'm. I'm the middle. I, I hopped in the middle of this. We've got uh, our host sitting between us. Of this little thing right here. It's uh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I sort of slopped here in the middle here. There's been enough romantic moments between them. I'm sure. They Too don't many. need. They don't need this. To, they don't need this podcast episode to be another romantic so milestone in their did, relationship. Was, I, was it? Was, did I come in in the midst of the the, the how they met story or yeah. what, what story was I in? Yeah, no, I was making an ass of myself. Naturally. Um, <laughs> amidst them telling a beautiful story. Mm-hmm. Well, it was Shannon telling a beautiful story. Cam was just kind of sitting I gotta there. I got to hear Cam's uh, account oh. of what happened, though. Oh. Well, Cam's account is that it was sesame chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can work your account. I can work your account. So, um, I, I'm very bad at making stories brief. Because I've been in business for way too long, that sure. brevity is the essence of wit and the essence of productivity. And you have no wit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Well, sorry. Um, you can new, new guest to the pod, uh, Connor Romero. Oh, geez, this is a. Uh, this is going to feel like a uh, odd future song. There's going to be a lot of features on this podcast. Um, Wait, did you set them up? No, it wasn't. No. Connor. Different. No. Okay. Sorry. So. Okay. No. So the first time Shannon and I met, it was um, after we had texted for a while, like she mentioned, and three days. Wow, that that's yeah. a lot of texting. Like, did you guys like have? Because con- like when I text someone first, I'm like, oh, no, let's just set a time and date. It was three days wow. from a Saturday, and then we met on the Monday. So yeah, I'm talking to a girl on Hinge right now. We <laughs> we, we we matched about a month and a half ago. Wow! I haven't dropped that. Haven't dropped that hammer yet. That's all I got to say. You're talking. Wait, no. I want to okay, zone want, in on that. You want to zone in on that story? I want to zone in on that, and then we'll go back to oh, that. Okay, perfect. Yeah. But you've been talking to a girl on Hinge for over a month. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I got. I got to work, and oh, then like, you know. What, what is talking? Really? That's true. Like how often? Like uh, within a day. I'm gonna say. Uh, get yourself to talk. I'm true. gonna say a once a day. I guess. My question is like, are you afraid of the commitment? Is that why? Oh boy, this isn't what this episode's supposed oh. to be. About. This episode's supposed to be about, about Cam's birthday. Okay, let's get back. Yeah. Cool, we're gonna zone back out. Okay, we're anyway, gonna zone back out. Um, we're gonna zone yeah, back out. So Cam, Cam's on hinge. We're we're jumping out of side of that now. Um, so yeah, the day that Shannon and I met, um, she I invited her to my house. To the original plan was to go to a place where you could play. Batting cages as well as mm. mini golf. Smart. You're good and at those things. Smart. Very good at these things. Smart. Yeah, because I'm an athlete. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I do think I'm good at it. I you know? get that. It's I like... plan to at least hit 10 home runs. You know, I expected her to hit two, which would mean I beat her, of course. <laughs> um, 
to to have lost on a first yeah. date would have been disrespectful. Unacceptable. To have lost I, I on a first date would have been acceptable. You your life would have been. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't make acceptable. Wouldn't make acceptable. So anyway, um, she came to to my house. Uh, it was rainy outside, so I uh, approached her with an umbrella. Uh, and oh God, wait, like she pulled up to your house I'm and you like, came out no, of your I house with an umbrella? Yeah. I'm crying. I'm just gonna write this down. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna you know, send it to people your people taking notes in the room here. Record it vocal so I don't have to listen to yeah. what I'm playing. Anyway, so I, 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 I ran out with an umbrella to make sure that uh, she didn't get a, she didn't get rained at all on. Right. Uh, had her inside. Oh, okay. oh so rain. And from there, um, Shannon came to my house and we had conversation that seemed to last for hours when it, you know Aww. yeah a very very long conversation Aww. which seemed to be about nothing and then did, did Sauron attack after that Sauron did not attack after that uh, in your, in your fiction. <laughs> yeah we uh, we uh, uh, yeah I'm not gonna jump into that wait, anyway so wait and then you then you then Shannon tried on your robe well so <laughs> are we got a little personal are we got a little personal here now now I have. We can we can not talk about this. Back to square one. We can jump into this. Yeah, <laughs> I have I have a store in Kitchener called Hong Kong Fashion. You you own it. I don't own it. Oh okay. I wish I owned Cam it. Cam owns the store. <laughs> uh, he's a proprietor. We we have an accountant in the room. Yeah. Everything's so good. Shares. Anyways, we're gonna cut to an ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quick quick ad for Hong Kong Fashion. So yeah. so Hong Kong, yeah. Fashion, yeah. Hong Kong Fashion. Hong Kong Fashion for all sells, your fashion needs. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like it's just Chinese oh clothing. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's there's someone in the window. Sorry. Um. Anyway. Um, Hong Kong fashion sells very traditional Japanese or Chinese clothing. So anyway, I bought one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Hong, uh, one Hong of them Kong sure. fashion <laughs> sells either uh, Japanese, Japanese, or Japanese or Chinese clothing. We got your That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, glad oh. they're protesting. Which one's South reason? Korean? It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna All be right. so fun to edit. Which one's the barbecue? <laughs> not yeah, no editing in this one. Anyway, um, it doesn't really matter. No, I ha- so I, I Hong have Kong fashion had Hong Kong fashions. Hong Kong have had Hong Kong fashions, and I have robes from Hong Kong fashion that are silk. Robes, and, yeah, robes, yeah. Yeah, come on in. More guests of the podcast here. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, I have. I didn't, the story's just gone on the the verge of. Anyway, anyway, so. Uh, I have robes from Hong Kong fashion that mm-hmm. I don't even know how they came up with the point. Regardless, um, Shannon and I were supposed to go out on a date to the um, go play. I think oh baseball, baseball, and yeah, mini golf. baseball. And um, I offered it up at one point. I said, "Okay, let's go." And she said, "Already?" I said, "Well, oh, I guess we're not going then." Already? Oh, well. she seems to, she. she- Oh, other Cam's been talking to this girl on Hinge for a month. So, um, you know, she obviously seems very interested. Right. Um, and, uh, so we see. Everybody I'm looking for is in here. Who's, at, who's outside? Everything you're looking for is in there. The guy that I guess, like I, I guess, I don't want to exclude him. Okay, what, regardless. Okay, anyway. Just it's just Tyler and his girlfriend. No, it's Gabe, the guy that's the skinny version. I think it, Amy I think it's girl. Jeremy. I think it's Jeremy and Caitlin. <sighs> no, they're both outside. Okay. Oh. Anyway, I'll, I'll finish the story off. Okay. Um. Okay. It's a yeah. So we're in a room. Just be clear, we're in a room right now with three, six, nine different people in a room right now. There's a lot of white guys with glasses and plaid in this room. Full disclosure, I told a way worse story about you. No, you didn't. Did you? I think it's not recorded. You, you getting real drunk at my place. <laughs> oh, did Obviously, you tell I don't the remember that. Story? Where's the toilet? <laughs> oh, he told the poo story. No, well, that was, that was, that was no, off no, mic. That was off no, mic. No. Oh, now yeah, now it's on. The real story's here. Go on. <laughs> All right. Well, I, where, where are we? Oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah. my God. You just had... No. You had... Um, Impeach him. Ropes. Ropes. Okay, anyway. So, um... 
by that point, Shane and I, um, I cool. offered her one of my Hong Kong fashion robes. <laughs> Generous plug yeah. right there. And Shannon like, knew. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon knew. I gotta lock. I gotta lock oh, yeah. this down. Now she accepted. He is so you know that says quite a bit. Um, Most gracious. And from there, he is worldly. From there, I'm not. I'm not. Has he traveled around the world? In days? <laughs> Hong Kong fashion says yes, he did. Now I am not one to uh, avoid. S- making follow-up appointments as I am sales and I said okay so we are now <laughs> dating and she said yes Whoa. we are now dating Dang. and now it has been a move in together looking at a dog together and a future this together. is the first date this is the first date. First date, you're, yeah. First, first date, you're first moving date. in and and dog that was a little, and... yeah that came together yeah, okay that, cool, that came cool. together but um yeah we uh we made it we made it all together. Can, can I just there. can I give you my hinge profile for a second? <laughs> like I'm so close to asking this girl out. I just you know like it always seems that we just need to finally make it yeah. happen. It so, seems like uh, so batting oh, yes. cages and we, mini we golf. Yeah. Right out of your own but not actually. No, Hong not Kong actually, faction. No, 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 but no, not no, actually. No, 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 okay. Girls. Okay, okay, that's the Girl, secret. Yeah, girls absolutely love it when you say, like, oh, let's go mini golfing and stuff. And you're like, nah, let's just stay home. <laughs> girls right. love it when you bail on plants? Is yeah, in my experience, that's not exactly where it went. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. So we got both sides of that, of the, of that, the, um, the Cam and Shannon story, of course. We're here with Connor, Con- 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 Connor C&C, Omar, though. See, more like counterpoint versus counterpoint, because we have fun, topical... <laughs> Differences in opinion. So you can just hold the mic up to your face. That'd be great. Um, is, we're here. We're, so we're here with Conor O'Mara, I... friend of the uh, friend of the podcast, of course. Um, uh, you know what? You know the day I met Cam was the same day I met you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, so I moved into a house with other roommates that I didn't that I knew Could who weren't Cam and Connor. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do you got? Uh, PBR light. PBR light, baby. So I move into this house where I knew other people. I didn't know you at all. I didn't know Cam at all. So, of course, like, I came in. You were one of the first people I saw when, like, I moved in this house. And then I'm, like, later on, I finally get myself settled. And Cam comes in. Cam comes in in this, like, salmon pink wife beater shirt and shorts that barely hung below his weird ball. And and also and also and also the, <laughs> that was oh, like we, we, are, we already went we already went down that folks who are an hour into the show already they've already heard the whole story. All right, I want to repeat the story. We don't we don't, don't need we don't need we don't need we don't need to repeat the story. Um and Cam well, and and Cam as we all right. know end of August beginning of September who has the best tan going? Cam Leclaire like so so Cam Leclaire's in a you know a fucking muscle shirt. Low shorts, and he were just sitting in the backyard, kind of getting to know each I other. I just wish I didn't have to try so hard. You know what I mean? Like you once know, in a while, you I'm know? like, I wish I didn't have to try as hard as Cam. I wish I could show up. He's in... just, I, he's better. I, I wish I could it's show fine. up. It's fine. In I don't a care. Salmon I don't tank care. Top like he's better and than short me. shorts, and it would just sort of work for me. I don't, I, I don't have, I don't have that. I don't okay, have that. so my first memory of Cam Leclaire was. He was sweeping. Sweeping. I'm going to get your reactions for, live on the street from Albert. Uh, yeah. he, he was sweeping the stairs up to Jeff's place, <laughs> but he had a tramp stamp on. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> it was like, I, I got to assume, it, he had it for like... It must have been like I a saw hen- him a like couple a- times and he still had it. It might have been like a henna tattoo or something. That's like- what I'm saying. It's like it might have been a henna tattoo that would describe how like he had it weirdly long, but it's fine. Where did he get it? Mm. That was before I knew him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge story. He had a subplot. Yeah. So the first time you, so the first time you, what you see, Cam Leclaire, he's bent over with uh, with he's, a tramp stamp. He, he is sweeping a staircase that will never be cleaned of its sins. Of course. <laughs> uh, but. He, but he had a tramp stamp, and I think that's what's really at the heart of all this. It's a, it's a good look. 
It's a good look. Have you um have you ever, have you ever met someone like in, have you ever met someone in the wild who has a tramp stamp? I haven't I I just I haven't come across that yet. I, I out of anyone a, who I've met. I've seen a couple. Connor O'Mara, you're much closer associated with the Oshawa general public where I think the tramp stamp percentages has to be has to be slightly higher. Okay, but like I'm not going to defend the tramp stamp. <laughs> Certainly not. I just want to know a, if you've encountered it. As a genre it. of tattoo, yes. I'm not going to defend it right now, but I'm going to say that there are there's levels to it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> level one okay. being? I'm going to say, like, okay, if you're just going to get, like, Dog fucking pots. butterflies. Just a quick little thing. Like, yeah, but, like, in a way that, like, it doesn't matter who got it, like... That's not a good tattoo. So what's you know like what I mean? what's like, like level five tramp stamp? You oh, you gotta go pretty advanced. There. Yeah, what? Level five better than yeah, level no, five. yeah. What's advanced level now, tramp stamp? Now because you asked them to me in that order, I'm gonna say that level five is the best one. Yeah. What what what's the top? What's the top of the tramp stamp uh, hierarchy? I'm gonna say if it like leads into your back piece, like you got a like full on back piece. No, it's a whole thing at this point. And it, but it's like. There's one part that you're like, it can be that on its own, with the rest of it. Okay, perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad that you've made uh, boundaries. Is for my it mom too. listening to this? Can I say hi real quick? <laughs> sure, everyone. Uh, let's pass the mic around and we say hi to their moms. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh... <laughs> Sherry, I know you're listening to this. <laughs> um, I think it's pretty cool that you're finally. Listening to me on a, some medium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad all it took was podcasts for you to pay attention. This is a two seeds in a pod exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. No, that's exactly it. When you tell your parents, if you ever tell your parents that you have a podcast, um, nobody know, nobody exactly knows what that quite means. Uh, which is of course you'd, you'd always be surprised where it goes but yeah you'd always be surprised where it goes um, does anyone else in the room have a good cam story I think we're looking at a few first time meeting cam I'm saying go oh. we're, we're, we have a few we have a few all right, faces all right. we have a few faces who haven't had a, who hasn't given us a cam story yet right. we'll have to hear one so the first no, few times I remember oh, the first few times I met cam were very forgettable we're talking to, we're talking to Shane right now um, uh, of course you know I mean of course introductions would be great we're for the made, folks Roommate of yes. Connor, be, uh, you know, mm. they they know what to say. <laughs> they, the listeners know, listeners can recognize. All right. All right, so the first few times I met Cam were pretty forgettable. I thought he didn't like me because I felt like I was a klutz around him and he was very annoyed with my personality. <laughs> then we had to sit next to each other when we got our graduation forms, whatever those are called. Anyways. Uh, that is Our funny. That is certificates. Funny that, that's you guys, it. Like, right next to each other. Yeah, we so, talked uh, the you, entire time. You also, My parents you also mentioned have it to an me. L last name. I do. Okay, I am okay, Lawrence, okay. and he is Leclerc, and we were sitting yeah, next to each other. I don't know that who was I was it, sitting. Man. That's how we became friends because we were both talking for the entire time. Yo, I, that's funny. I don't remember who I was sitting beside at my graduation ceremony. Couldn't tell you, but like I was talking to that chick the entire. That's all you could do. It was 45 minutes. It was like, hey, I've never seen you before. Let's exactly. fucking talk because this is so mundane and weird. And the culmination of hundreds, dozens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, and my parents asked me and they were like, yeah. who are you talking to? And I was like, well, I was talking to a guy I thought that didn't like me, but it turns out that we're very good friends. <laughs> and it turns out and it just ended up working. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I will pass along the mic to Cam now. Now that he is back in the room. Jeez. So how long are we in the podcast here? No. We're in hour seven. Hour seven in. Um, has everyone had the chance to speak? No. <laughs> don't want to. Okay, so we got one. Don't want to. Parky. Uh, I haven't I haven't said anything yet. Yeah. Alex Park, Alex Park, friend of the podcast. Um, friend of the podcast. So, 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 so I'm, I'm, I'm long time long time listener. Long time listener, first time call. I'm trying long to figure out friend. how we should uh, name this episode. I sort of think when I think of podcasts that have like featured Friends. people, it'll be like name of the episode and then like with 
blank and it'll, it'll give yeah. people's names because like a you lot know, of names. So yeah. I don't know. You know, we're gonna we're gonna figure out a naming structure late uh, afterwards, but uh, we'll figure that out. We're sitting here with Alex Park though, friend of the, friend of the show, friend of the podcast. Yeah, nice um, to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic to be here. So yeah, of course we're going over our best cam stories, and you've, you've, you've caught a few stories. of them. And I think first a few memories. First memories, first memories first of course. Memories. I, I think a few of these memories we've heard Which the big the, the big nut story. I think I think the first <laughs> one. first few times Birthday like <laughs> I would just show up to Connor's place because I, I was starting to hang out with Connor and Anik and. I would always bring over like probably like a jar of weed, and then Cam would always walk in and be like, "Whoa!" And then whatever, that was like <laughs> the most of like our communication for like the first few months, and then started to like talk more and stuff. But I think the first time we like really did anything and spent like a extended period of time was when we went camping. I think that was like four years ago. It was a while ago. It was me, Cam, Connor, and Connor's friend Kyle. Yeah. Who's living in Ottawa right now. Anyways, so we went up to Algonquin. Ottawa, Canada, for everybody, uh, all the international listeners. <laughs> of course, yeah, we're not talking about the, Ottawa, the, Illinois. The capital of Canada, not Toronto. Ottawa, <laughs> North Dakota. <laughs> anyway, so we went up to Algonquin for that weekend, and... I think you have to jump into the sleeping conditions. Like, okay, okay, so just yeah. to set everything up. So we thought we were all ready to go and all prepared I mean, to be honest, none of us really went hardcore camping ever before that. Um, Connor said he had a four-person tent. Uh, or no, no, three, but a three, my, a very my, no, generous a three. three. Yeah. Was that you? It was a three-person tent that was waterproof. A very generous three, though. In, in, in your words, in your own words, a very generous three. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we, had, uh, we had a big cooler as well. Um, Full of raw meat. <laughs> And that that weekend it happened to be no fire. There's a fire ban on the entire park, but we never found out until we so, got yeah, up there. Yeah, we got there and they go. Just by the way, there's absolutely no fires this weekend. And we look at our cooler full of raw meat and we go, "That's a problem <laughs> because we have raw meat and we have nothing else to eat." No, and, and then us being also the fucking stupid degenerates we were back then, young stupid kids, we yeah, started driving up at like three. Didn't get there till like 5.36. At least. So the sun was setting when we finally got all our stuff into the canoe and we started to um, paddle out from the launch. And that was like 6.30ish. The sun was setting. I remember still. Sunsets at Everybody, we could, you could smell people cooking their food or whatever. You know, nobody gave a shit about the fire bans. So on the way there, <laughs> we're, on, we're driving down a lake. We're canoeing down a lake and we go we have all this raw meat that we need to cook what the how fuck are uncomfortable are do? you guys with seeing if one of the neighbors has a barbecue you know because because i i guess people should know like the government has like their own cottages i didn't know that all along the place all along the property I, that, that's government owned it has to be and they rent it out but okay, anyway sure. they, they looked <laughs> they looked abandoned but we noticed there were some barbecues there all right. So anyway, so we're we're debating because we're going. We have all this meat. We can't start a fire. I'm not saying we should steal a barbecue, but I'm saying that we should borrow a barbecue for the night. So we're trying to like three of us are down. One of us is hard against it, going like, "This is unethical. We're gonna yeah. get caught. This is gonna you know this is gonna end in us all in jail." Maybe a little bit absurd, but regardless, he's not okay with it. So, somehow we convince him. We're like, stop being a bitch, right? And we end up getting the, uh, you know, stopping at this person's property, knocking the door. Hello, is anybody here? No. Okay, let's be very quiet. He needs a barbecue. Oh. Within half an hour... We are drinking, we are smoking meat oh on this barbecue, being loud as anyone has no, ever no, no, been. You but you don't remember, I was going to tell the story of when we got, when we first got there. Go so ahead. Cam, Cam oh, cracked so open, a, so he got a 40 of Sailor Jerry's that, for that weekend. <laughs> he cracked that open half an hour before we got to the parking lot. So as we were driving, Connor's just driving, trying to zoom his way there, and Cam's just 
all like, Ugh. all right, son, go ahead and drive. And he's cracking open a 40 in the back seat, just glugging it down. He was a probably a quarter done of the bottle once we got there. So he was like, you know, he's feeling nice by the time we started paddling out. And so we started, pad- like, by the time we got to the lake that we were supposed to be camping at, it was about 11 o'clock at night. It was pissing rain at this point. Uh, pitch black, everything. There was this one island with two camping spots there. And it was, like, you know, pretty big. You can, can, we, can we jump in the part before where we picked up the canoes? I don't remember this part. So the canoes were... There was two canoes for us, and there was one car. So we realized that, okay, we have to take the canoes one at a time. Oh, my God, yeah. Now... We went, okay, so I'll take canoes at one time. This so is we'll just have, how unprepared we were. This, yeah, it's just how ridiculous we were. <laughs> we're at the canoe store, and we go, okay, we'll leave one person in the canoe store with a canoe, and then we'll have the other three drive to the place where we launch the canoe. Half-hour drive. Within five minutes of me sitting there going like, boys, I'll hold the canoe. I realized that we're at a canoe store, and no one's stealing a canoe from us, and there's no reason for me to guard the canoe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now you're just standing there for I'm standing there going it's raining outside and my friends are gone and I'm going to wait an hour at least until I see them again. And he's already a quarter deep in his 40 and he doesn't have it cuz we we brought it with us in the car still. <laughs> yeah. So he's just like kind of yeah. Anyways, he we get out there and we see a few campsites there. And then Cam, all of a sudden, like, we, we were singing on the lake a bit. And then all of a sudden, he starts just yelling, Tiny Island, we're coming for you! That's when Jack Eichel was also getting drafted. So oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, that's right. We're that's coming right. for you was very It relevant. was a big moment. Yeah. Jack Buffalo, Eichel's drafting was a big moment for, for you. you. Yeah. So, big, big Sabres fan, eh? Didn't know that. Big, big Sabres big fan. Sabres fan here on the podcast. Uh, of course, <laughs> we knew that already. Hey, Bills are in the playoffs. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we get to the island and uh, Cam's yelling all this shit. Ah, we're coming for you. Hey, matey, we're coming for you. Like he's like a pirate or something. And a sailor drinking a sailor Jerry. Anyways, we see a light flick on, like somebody's like holding like their lamp or something. And we're like, oh, there's uh, inhab- inhabitants there already. So they come out and they're like, you fucking kids don't shut up right now. I'm calling the Rangers on you. And Cam's like, I don't give a fuck. We're coming for you. <laughs> and I don't know, me, Connor, and Kyle at this point, we're just like, oh, fuck. Like, are we just going to get kicked off and like our permit taken away? Cam was the belligerent one. He was the, uh, you were the over the top boy. That was, that, but I, have yeah. to, I have to insist this was the only time like I have been with Cam when he was ever this like. Like over the top. Oh, yeah. Too. But uh, <laughs> I, I love this. I don't story. remember this at all. That part. Oh, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> but uh, it's probably we are, we are gonna go now. There's probably a reason for that. For a bit, we need to take two Ubers anyways. Uh, sure. Okay. Just wanted to let you guys know so that you didn't walk out like everybody was going. People are leaving the party. Well, I mean, I guess it's almost. I guess it's probably almost. It's probably almost one o'clock. You know. Uh, but yeah, the party. Well, here, well, yeah, well, next, yeah, that was a great, uh, oh, great, great, fucking, it was a great, it quick. yeah. Uh, you want to call up there? Well, up to you. Well, I think I think you can probably milk that story for as much as you want. I guess if it's a camping weekend. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, so then after that, anyway, so we we ended up sneaking on the little tip of that island that we almost got chased off of by a bunch of I don't know pissed off uh, other campers there anyways and <laughs> that night that comfortably tent for three people we were all like it was maybe max two people for two people and like it wasn't even waterproof at all and the two of you guys are tall also no, there's like, four of us there's, and there's four, four of us yeah. four of what you what do you mean the two of them are tall cam is uh Ten. Yeah, yeah, I'm four, oh. sorry, yeah, that's, that's a good point. You know, Alex Park, you're probably you're probably sitting there in that six four ish. 
yeah, and, you gotta, and you myself. Gotta, um, five player, one, you know, maybe. Five, oh my god, five yeah. one in heels. But the thing is that you know <laughs> when you're weighing two hundred and sixty five pounds, when you're two sixty five, ten, like what? Three ten. How's your weight How much did you lose weight? He's like a thick three ten too. Yeah, you know it looks it's three ten on the scale, but four ten on the eyes. Right, right, right. He's like the camera puts on fifty pounds. So Cam and there was like five people and like a. Otherwise, comfortably for three yeah, the person. the tent, which we thought was waterproof, is not waterproof at all. So, like, it was just, it just felt like somebody Breaking was Waking up kissing. in a wet sock. And this was, like, a tent that you provided. You're like, I got this, don't worry. I got this, boys. I think, I I think somebody there took a piss as well in their sleeping bag and then, like, just let it, like, kind of mix in with all the other water, you rainwater. Think? Like, 100% that's, somebody. That's a, that's a, that's 100% a dirty somebody move. did. Like, that's that's a, the way it move. smelled. I, well, it wasn't that, Cam, that because Cam, yeah. Cam can piss and walk. I so piss and walk. So I'm going to say I'm, I'm good on that one. Cam's got his own pissing situation going on. We know he's safe. Uh, we, we, do, we don't know about everybody else, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say I'm good on that one. Um, I don't remember smelling the piss, but I remember being waking up feeling I'm in a wet sock, and that was uncomfortable. Maybe, and I to, think this day, that, to this day, I say that's my the worst sleep I've ever had. Uh, hands down. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I just, like, the, the fact that you're so gung-ho, like, oh, yeah, this is going to work. And then it was just, oh, yeah. Like, just the next morning after, like, oh. This never did. This never did. <laughs> We're not doing so well after this. Well, that, well that's a great story. That's yeah, that, that's a great story. Cam's resilience. I think, we, like, if nothing else, um, these stories that we've been hearing have been... It's about, like, your work ethic and your ability to, like, let's get this job done. Um, we got other guests on the show here right now. Of course, one here is myself, Cameron Osborne, Cam LeClaire, and we're sitting here with Jamie. Um, well, I'm about to slam Cam. We're about hard to slam here. Cam. You know, this made you this don't. Know, but you don't know which Cam I'm about to slam. So that's a good point. Like, that's a good point. I'm going to be very uh, anonymous old, on which Cam I'm about to slam it, here. It's a good old Cam slam, of yeah. course. Uh, this, you know what? I this bro, this this may be our like our last story of the this night. This is our last story. This might be our last story, and then I'm glad. I'm glad that Thank we saved. Thank God it's your last story of the night because. I'm glad that it's we saved such great news. Uh, of course, yeah. So, how did you meet Cam? And um, what what's your favorite story about the kid? So, uh, me and Cam. Hold the mic so you get a full. Right. Oh, Me hi. and Cam have been uh, good buddies since, we'll say, maybe elementary school, maybe even high school. Like, I don't know when... I've been good friends with Cam since elementary school. I don't know when he's been good friends with me since. <laughs> That's a right? good point. That's a yeah, good point. There you go. We to reciprocate. Yeah, exactly. You, understand that? you, you never that. know when you, want, when you want to reciprocate it. So, um, so my story is kind of like building off of... Uh, one of the stories that were told earlier that uh, Alex said about the uh, the meat in the cooler and the Fuck, yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, this is Jamie's bachelor party. a good old story about some old safe food handling practices <laughs> a bachelor party story to boot yeah oh boy boot, this, but this it's double. not as juicy as you <laughs> expect it to be. <laughs> Trust me. Well, maybe it is, but not in the it's, ways you want it to juicy, be. It's juicy, yeah, but it's yeah. not the right way. So, yeah. Cam. So, yeah, so for everybody in the podcast, so I got, I got married this last summer, and uh, uh, we had my bachelor party up at my cottage um, in July uh, for the long weekend. And so we all get up there for the weekend, and it was Cam's job. He was in charge of bringing all the meat. And so, anyway, we all get up there. We have our beer. We have our, like, chips. We have our... The necessities as for a guy's weekend. And Cam shows up with the meat. I'll do a quotation mark right now. So, Cam shows up with the meat. And... He goes, hey guys, I got the meat. Let's put it in the in the fridge. I'm like, okay, okay. So start opening up the cooler, and it smells like someone died. And it, it smells like there was a crime committed <laughs> in the cooler. So we do a little further investigation, and we get Cam up on the stand, and we ask him to confess, and he says, yeah. Guys, 
I'm sorry, but I bought this meat a couple days ago. It's been sitting in the cooler in the garage ever since. I thought I thought it would keep good. Thought the cooler was better than it was. So yeah. that much. Yeah. So so you, so you thought a cooler would keep it cool. It's just kind of what you now. Thought. I will like point away that this was not a few days. It was. One day, and it was a mistake. Day and regardless. Half. Oh my god! So, so anyway, did, did you put any ice in the cooler? <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the meat, the meat will the keep itself. <laughs> of course. So now I would put it. There was frozen meat in there, so there was in it. Innocent- no, 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 no. It was, it was a shit <laughs> was cooler. A, yeah, it may have been a little bit of uh, freezing time. Nineteen ninety nine cooler. Yeah, this is not a good cooler. Uh, so I mean, uh, it was we get, a, uh, we, get we get up there and we're taking the meat out of the, the cooler and putting it in the fridge and we're basically doing the the sniff system the sniff test yeah. we're doing the sniff test so every single piece of meat that comes out of Cam's cooler <laughs> because we had prior warning because I had an unidentified informant. <laughs> Who shall not be named because it's a matter of life or death for him. He will not be named. Has told told me that he carpooled with Cam up to said cottage trip and showed up at Cam's place and identified said spoiled meat. But didn't want to say anything because he didn't want to rock the boat. So... <laughs> We go to take the meat out of the cooler, and it is pretty smelly, (laughs) to say the least. We pull, but you rode up the whole car ride uh, with the cooler. Sealed cooler. Sealed cooler. Sealed cooler. Okay, so it wasn't until it was open. Every time you open the cooler, though, you're like, "Did someone fart in here?" (laughs) Right? You're like, "Something." (laughs) Did somebody die? Like, did somebody die in in here? You're like, "Hey, quick question: Did anyone kill a raccoon and bring it in here from like four days ago?" Like, you know, it smelled bad recently. Was it one of those coolers? Every time you hit a bump, like the like the lid would open up. No, it was just every time. It was every time, like, "Hey, you know, you just." I think I was concerned about it because I'm like, I got a bad feeling. And, like, just, they're not saying any names. Um, there were other people who were also concerned, but I think all of us didn't want to admit because we we're like, there's a lot of money. Because in this there's cooler. a lot of meat and a lot of money, and you yeah. don't want to have to be the bearer of bad news to say, this is all trash. Yeah. Precisely, yeah. So, so anyway, let's, uh, let's continue with this story. So there's not much we, more to we, it. No, 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 no. There's, there's a lot more to yeah. it. So we get to the cottage, and the anonymous uh, person, meat, meat exposer, uh, meat exposer, had radioed ahead to me at the cottage and be like, "Jamie, we're coming in hot, but the meat is hot." <laughs> So it's also, it's hot. also very hot. So <laughs> it is no good. Maybe, maybe a couple things that are still frozen are good. So, Cam, to this day, thank you very much. Most of most of the meat was very good. You, and most of the bachelor no, party. And well, no, the entire bachelor party was great. But most of the meat was great. So all of the pork and beef that you got was great the chicken chicken didn't last a little chicken. bit chicken didn't last. Yeah. No, it no. was not winner winner chicken dinner on that one so it was a little bit shady but it was overall the meat was pretty good yeah so what we learned from this and from my speech at the wedding was that we all learned valuable lessons in safe food handling that weekend of course and i think what we what we've learned sort of through this last you know hour and a half now of all these stories is cam like your your resilience to your friendships is something that is unmatched like i think kind of across the board right if i can think of a friend who is more care for more thoughtful more resilient to anything like it's you I appreciate that. It is 100% you. If there's some dude who's going to bring up a bunch of meat and trying to make it work, 
Like, that's Cam LeClaire. Find a way. Like, that's Cam LeClaire who's going to make that meat work for him. <laughs> Sometimes the meat doesn't work. <laughs> Sometimes the meat doesn't work. But you know what? Like, you're, you're, you're going to make that, you're going to make that happen. How do we wrap up this podcast? I think we got to come up a little. Uh, well, I guess I guess this is two season a pod. And I know I was thinking about a tagline recently. Like yeah. we have a tagline that we end with. I I'm not saying we have There's to come no with it now, great but, but you know, tagline. like just sort of like uh, keep on. Bob, just I don't know, just something. something fun, something fun. But you know, um, of course, well, we're always plugging the email. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, if you made it this deep in the podcast, you're if a you've fan. made it, if you've made an hour and a half into the show here, uh, you're a Cam fan. I think of nothing you're else. No, fan. you want to hear, you want to hear some of these stories. I know there's Thank some you. People, there are some people listening to the podcast who I, I think have made it this far deep. Uh, you know, you can go two season pod at gmail dot com. Two season pod. That's the spot. I think yeah. the more listener feedback we get. Imagine if we could take up like 30 minutes of the show every week with just listener feedback. That's so much Fantastic. less work that we have to do. Yeah. Uh, like 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 individually, which would be perfect, no. Yeah. No uh no headline and ass sign tonight. Um it's no. a special episode. You know, this is a special is, uh, episode. This is a special episode. Um, you know, I wish I this. could off There's no Free Uncle Jeej today. No Free Uncle Jeej, just no headline or ass nines. Heart. No top fives, um, because this episode is all about it's all about our birthday boy right here. Oh, which thank of you course, very much. You know. Thank you everyone for uh, giving me stories. This will be something that um, I think that I will be able to hold on for a very very long time. I hope it's something that I can l- listen to when I'm seventy and you know enjoy back to my twenties. If podcast still exists in fifty years, uh, you're well, gonna listen it's to an audio recording, this episode, um, which will be great. Thanks for listening, folks. This is all you know. You and I get a hold of us. You can rate, review, like, and subscribe. Apple Podcast, Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, all the things. You know what to do. Give us five stars and roast us. We haven't had anybody give us five stars and talk shit about us yet. Um, Not yet. We're working on it. We're still working on that because the algorithm would doesn't care about what they say. It's just the stars. It just cares about the five stars in the comments. Which is perfect. So you can give us that. All right, buddy. Leave so us all that information. I guess I'll see you in the new decade then. We'll see. We'll see you in 2020, bud. All right. Until then, I'm Cameron Claire. I'm Cameron Osborne. Take care. Peace out. Ciao.